What's going on, Monkey Dudes and Monkeys? Hell for Gaming here, back at it again with some more mechanical mastery. And uh, I've done a couple things. As you can see in my hot bar, I have a time in a bottle. I made it so that it could build up some time. Very easy recipe. We go over here and look at it. It's a very easy recipe. Just two diamonds, a clock, three gold ingots, two lapis, and a bottle. So as you can see, I still have two more leftover glass bottles. Very easy to make. I also made a couple transmutation tablets. They've been very useful. And the goal was to make infinity steak, or infinite steak. That was actually the first thing I wanted to do today. I can eat steak from now on instead of bread. It just takes 64 EMC, which, as you can see, I have quite a bit because I've AFK'd a little too much. And uh, I built this island for today's episode to work on. And uh, grinded a bunch of materials so that way I had enough. Oh, yeah. This in here with this. A clears up some inventory space. Anyway, this is what I've worked on off cam. I made eight Starling Dynamos with two pulverizers, both pulverizing coal, as you can see, and they both output round robin into this. Now, I found out that, hold on, the hand, medium extraction modules will prevent oversending. And that's very important because then I don't have to have those stack limiters on everything so that it prevents oversending. Now, I do still have a stack limiter over here of 66. And the only reason is because that means these two are counting as part of it. So to get this to say 64, you have to say 66. I don't know why that is. But I have six stacks of mechanical essence and I'm almost done with another one in the multi-server press, and it's done, and it sends off, and now I have 8,000 more EMC. But, as you can see, these are still going fine. These are still having stack limiters on them of 60. That's fine. I didn't replace these with mediums because I just didn't see a reason to. Although I might replace them with mediums just to take the stack limiters back to use them for something else. Because the only reason I have stack limiters on here is to prevent oversending. So, I might put mediums... They're very cheap. I might do it anyway. Does it have any? No. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. And let's go ahead. Now let's go ahead and upgrade these. I will. And then I'll take out the stack limiters. Because this will prevent oversending. All I need is some iron. It's a simple recipe. It's just this. Boom. And are all these the same? Yep. All mediums now. So, medium, medium, medium. And then I can take out stack limiter, stack limiter, stack limiter. Now, I don't have to worry about these anymore. It'll just stop once it hits 64. Stack limiters. Oh, well, they are down here. They are down here. Oh, gosh. I don't like how they don't stack. Uh, if I make this one 60, it'll probably stack with these. But I can't get rid of the info. If I make these all 60, they'll all stack together. But I'm just a little too lazy to do that. So, <laughs> it's okay. It's not taking up too much space now. But these are running really well. And I don't know what just happened. I lost focus to the game. That was weird. Anyway, uh, these are constantly full. And honestly, I could run off one. But that's with this setup. The next setup I do, although half of it is going to be rotational power because I need to set up a, a steam engine, uh, the other half is going to need power power, so I'll have steam engine and I'll have a few things. But anyway, let's just, let's just get to it. Let's take out all of the stuff that I have because I'm going to need it all. Some redstone, some, uh, I'll need some cobblestone, but let's Pull out all the ingots and stuff that I have. Bricks, maybe. Bit of stuff, just to make sure I have a little bit of everything. Terracotta. I will need terracotta. I know that for a fact. But, now, and cobblestone. Cobble. Cobble. And, uh, high covalence? Which one's red? Or uh, blue. Not red. High covalence dust. Because first things first, let's make some andesite. Andesite has been crafted. That was the first thing I needed to do, because the andesite quest here, once I make a single andesite alloy, 
which is iron. Two of these and two of these. Same inside alloy. Now this quest is complete and I get all of these. Which is very important. Because I'm pretty sure kelp, yes, kelp has an EMC value. Now, all of this does not have an EMC value, but the kelp is very helpful. Also, let's go ahead and put on the engineer's goggles. Now, let's grab out a stack of kelp and let's smelt it. Also, I'm going to go ahead and put this high covalence dust up. Because I have some andesite alloy now, so I should be fine making a setup to make more andesite unlimitedly. I just needed... I didn't make any EMC links. I'm going to have to make some EMC links. Oh yeah, and I have zinc. I could have used zinc instead, but it's it's fine. Pull out the zinc. Uh, it did not make me a wrench, sadly. Um, I don't think I have brass. I have bronze. Is uh, How do you make a wrench? Wrench. Wrench. How do you make a wrench? Three gold sheets, a cog, and a stick. All right. Three gold sheets. Cog. This hammer's going to get thrown. And a stick. Let's cobblestone it for a sec. Well, let's go ahead and make the wrench. And I can grab the cobblestone back out. All right. I might have a bit too much. Let's put some of this up so I have a little bit more space. <laughs> I grabbed everything just in case I needed it, but dang, my inventory's full. The 64 kelp, though, I need to smelt. So let's grab out one, two, three, four. Four of these. I like to put them up here because I don't like to mess up my grass. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, and four. Now I got kelp smelting up, which is something I wanted to have ready, but I couldn't because I just realized I realized that you had to make the andesite stuff first. But I need I wanted to do that. Leather is cool. You can cook tough fabric. But that's if you grow industrial hemp, which I'm not doing right this minute. Uh, I will do it shortly, and then I can get leather. Doesn't leather mean I can make a jetpack though? But I don't have a charger yet. Let's. Let's worry about this first. We'll let this smelt some, and we'll start setting up some stuff. Um, is it... Here's the question. Crafting... Yes! Handheld crafting table. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's great news. One piece of wood and a stick. That means I can set it up so that I get a crafting table on a stick, which can go in your... Can it... It doesn't look like they added that slot. Oh well. I can use it when I need to. Hey, let's eat some steak. Alright. So I can crafting table on a stick. So it can't go in a curio slot. But that might be uh, like a later version of Minecraft. This is 118. Alright. Go ahead and take half of this. Ah, <laughs> one more than half. That's fine. That helps because now I can go ahead and start setting up this, which I'm going to do. I need to make, oh yeah, I need to make some campfires. What is the recipe for a campfire? I need nine of them. Give me any coal. Nine coal, 27 logs, and 27 sticks. Seven logs. I make sticks like that now. Two sticks. Oh god. Well. Oh. Now I'm, I'm missing coal. Huh? Oh, I, I used my coal. That's right. Let's put this chest up. Grab some coal. And then. I can make ten. Need nine. Wood sticks. Mm. 
wood sticks. I'm just now I'm just juggling my inventory. Why did I do this? Why don't I here clear up just a little bit of space? I only have seven nickel. Hopefully nickel's not that important because I must not have paid attention to that. There, I clear up a little bit of inventory space. This is done now. Let's go ahead and withdraw the rest. I'll leave these here for now. We can worry about them later. And we can go ahead and got the nine campfires. I can go ahead and place them. What I'm going to do over here like this. And then I'm going to put trap doors. I'm going to surround them with trap doors. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, six trap doors. So. Six trap doors. How many do you make? Two. Or six. Oh, I did one too many. That's fine. Six trap doors. It's fine that they're oak. It doesn't really matter. There. Kind of makes it like that. I kind of like that a little better. It's like they burn it anyway. But now I need the tanks. I need the tanks. I should have everything on me. Make the tanks. I need barrels. So I need. I do need wood. I do need wood. I need a bunch of barrels. Did I just withdraw? I have no idea. The pipes, maybe? Anyway, let's make a bunch of barrels. I'm going to need them. And I think the barrel recipe is pretty easy. I need... That's enough for two. Two barrels. The rest of these into that. More barrels. I need nine barrels. So... That should be enough. No. One more time. That should be enough. Perfect. Nine barrels. And then it's plates, right? Yeah, copper plates. So I'm going to need this, which is 34... And uh, 2 times 9 is 18, so 18 copper plates. Where's copper? 18 copper. Oh, wait, what am I doing? 18 copper plates. I don't know why I tried to do 2 like that. I think it's because I was thinking of this. Blow tanks, done. Super simple. Place them on top of these. Why I keep going over to there, I don't know. There we go. Got the tank set up. Nice. Um, right here. Hmm. Best way to have this set up. Can I waterlog that? You can waterlog trap doors, can't you? Waterlog this trap door. I think so. I need water. I need to make an accumulator. I need two water. I'm going to grab two buckets of water and make an accumulator. Oh, let's put this wood away for now. Grab a little bit of space. Make an aqueous accumulator. To make one, I need a... Deal. And I'm going to use one of these buckets of water. Can I water log a trapdoor? Yes. All right. Now I have my bucket of water, so let's make an aqueous accumulator. Easy peasy. Put it right here. And then I'm going to trap door here and here. For the other side. So I do need some more trap doors. Because that's important. So trap door, trap door. Door, trap door. 
I need to get some more wood out. Log. Like this. Two more trapdoors. Done. Planks. Wood. Well, I'm going to pump from here. There. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump from here into here. But I like how this is just here and not going anywhere. It kind of looks silly, but that's fine. So I need to make some fluid pipes, which is literally just copper on copper. 16. 16. Finish those off. Copper on copper. All right. And then we'll have a pump here. I think. Can I have a... Would it... Do pumps curve? Are pumps picky? Pumps might be picky. Oh, you know what I can do? I can put the pump there. And I can put the fluid pipe here. So the pump can go here. How does one make a pump? a mixer. This is a pump. Oh, that's easy. And then that's going that way. It needs to be flipped, but actually won't that matter? We'll see. We'll see. A uh, cog here. A uh, hand. I still need to make the hand crank, which is three wood and an andesite alloy. Three planks and an andesite alloy. Oh, I have three planks. Easy peasy. And I'll put the crank here. Because that's how I'm going to put water into it to start. Then I'm going to put a steam engine here. Right here. And I can... Yeah, put a steam engine there. Okay. Steam engine. I need a copper block. block of copper. I need an inside alloy and a gold sheet. So I do need to make another hammer. After all. Which is made with... It's made pretty easy. Two sticks. Hammer. Go. Go ahead and gold sheet. Uh, take the hammer. Um... Temporarily put these copper plates up. Actually, put them up here. I'm gonna take the hammer back out. And alas, steam engine. Steam engine. Which I'll put here. Now, that's. Oh, yeah, I need a shaft. Fog. There we go. Oh, come on. Has this been updated to stop it or something? <laughs> oh, I thought you could just crank it up. And then that would start that. And it would keep running, which would keep turning that. Oh, do I need to speed it up? Is that the problem? That might be the problem. I might need a big small call, a small cog it. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this, and I'll be back. Okay, so that actually looks like that fixed it. Now I just need to remove that. Yeah, I just needed to upgrade the speed of it. By upgrading the speed, it's pumping fast enough to keep up. So I'm using some stress units on this side, but now I can take the stress units off this side and go ahead and build up what I need to build up.
which uh, might do a little bit of that. I need to build a few more things. This video might actually be a bit longer than usual, unfortunately. Try not to go too long, though, because I don't like... Because I like to have them around 20 minutes, and this is already around 20 minutes, but it is what it is. I need to make an encased fan, which means I need an andesite casing, which means I need the wood. And I need an axe. I don't have an axe. I'm about to put some ingots up. Also, those coppers can go back in there. Um, uh, thought I had some extra ingots somewhere. Like a double stack. Oh, it was the copper, and I've put it up. Put some of these up that I don't think I'll need right now. I don't think I'll need the bricks or the terracotta at the moment. So there. Cleared out my inventory a bit. Simply put, I've got this up and running. I just need a few things. I need to make an encased fan. Because I need iron. An encased fan. It's four iron sheets. So, an encased fan. Propeller's done. And I need log, andesite alloy, and do I have an axe? Well, so let's make a diamond axe. Three. Two. Did I grab the two sticks? I did not. Make an axe. I've never built an axe in that direction before. Inside alloy, check. Now we go ahead and make an encased fan. Why do I need an encased fan? Because, simply put, I need to wash. Okay, so I'm going to need some power. Power the fan. So I can put this here. Uh, I don't need a lot of power. I'm going to need that. I need to move this a little. Okay. So, to let you go through the logistics, I'm going to need a belt or a depot. I could I could export to a depot without using a belt, actually. So, I might have a depot export from a EMC link onto a depot that gets washed for soul sand into nether quartz, which then gets put into a mixer. So, I might actually need to move this up a little. But I'm um, just letting you know what I'm doing, and I'm going to go ahead and set that up. Well, there's a few more things I need, so I'm going to go ahead and make those. I need to make a basin, check, a depot, which means I need another andesite casing. Oops. Andesite casing, depot, and I'm going to need some funnels. One funnel out, one funnel into. I'll say, so I'm going to need a couple of funnels. About four funnels. And then I go. I need to go ahead and make the mixer. Which is another andesite casing. Another andesite casing. And then... Mixer. Where is mixer? Mixer. Whisk. Five plates. Two hands. Oh wow. This is this is gonna barely barely make it. This might not even be enough. We'll see. Oh, I already made the whisk. Alright, so I just need to make the mixer. Alright. I've already started setting it up, as you can see. I'd have a depot. Depot. That's... Depot here. Which will then output into... Mixer. Would that work? That'll wash it. Do I need the mixer next to it? I don't know. 
I don't know. Let's find out. So, mixer here. So, uh, the base in here. Yeah, that actually looks right. Uh, let's go ahead and wrench that. That's a hammer. Wrench that around to output. I'll have the mixer on top. Like that. Uh, we need water right here. So I need to get a couple more driving log. Need to get a couple more of these. And put them on this. This. Go ahead and remove you, remove you, actually keep you. Remove you. So I'd put water here, which means I need a bucket. You have. I didn't mess that up, did it? No. Okay, so the fan would blow into this, which has an EMC link here. No? Yeah? Or on top of it. it. Might be here instead. EMC link right here, outputting with a funnel on top of it. Yeah, something like that. Alright, so let's see if this works. I put that there and I put that there. This should be soul sand. Now, I need a soul sand. Soul sand. Soul sand it. Ah, this is gonna need a filter. This is gonna need a filter or else it's gonna keep doing it. So I might need brass first. Does brass need to be heated for chance? Brass. Ah, uh, and I need to make an electron tube, which is a polished rose quartz, which is in papering rose quartz. How do you get rose quartz? A netherrack, or a quartz. Brass. It does need to be heated. I'm not there yet. But I can alloy kiln it. And I am there, right? I don't remember how to make an alloy kiln. That's great. Induction smelt! <gasps> induction smelter! I have an induction smelter. Wonderful news. Some food. Induction smelter. Uh, hopper. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Easy peasy. Boom. Brass. Haha. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Did I? No. All right. Uh, but to, I'm still going to need the electric. Ooh. I'm still going to need to This froze. Oh, no. I forgot I'm in a taiga. So it's going to freeze everything. <sighs> fun, fun. Fun, fun. Climb up this. There. And then... Hopefully that'll keep it light enough to not... Ah, that's horrible news. But now to try... That out. Um... Cog... Cog. Should be able to fit a cog in the middle. Nope. Like that. <laughs> I've never used big cogs like this before, but I thought it might work. And conserve little cogs. But I don't know. Hold on.
I'm not okay, hold on. Can I? Here's the question. Can I? Yes. Yes I can. Okay, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Alright. Big cogs or a no. I'll use little cogs, that's fine. But I think the little cogs are used to make gear shift gear boxes thingies. One more. All right. Let's put these walls back. There we go. Awesome. It works. That's wonderful news. I have quartz now, <laughs> which means I can make. Uh, and I still need to make sandpaper. So I did need sand. Oh, I'm glad I didn't turn all my sand into glass then. Uh, wait. Should... That's an issue. That's an actual issue. I can't make sandpaper. You don't get sugar cane till mechanism. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I gotta figure out the best way to do this then. I made this and I can't even, is there any other way? Sandpaper requires paper. Sawdust. Wait, is there any way to get sawdust? Wow, I, whoa, that's actually cool. You can press one sugar cane into one paper. I didn't know that. Is there a way to get sawdust? A pulse grinder and a precision sawmill. But I assume the precision... Yes, it takes mechanism stuff. Is there any other way to turn this into polished rose quartz? An enrichment chamber. Again, something I can't do anything about because I need that. Uh, is there any other way... <laughs> Is there any other way to make sandpaper? Diamond grit sandpaper. No! Just the paper. Any other way to get saw immersive engineering sawdust. Thermal sawdust. Multi-servo press. Unpack. Block sawdust. Pulverize wood. There we go. Pulverize wood. I got paper. Pulverize wood. See, all it is is sometimes you gotta think outside the box. I just need to pulverize some wood into paper. I have wood on me, right? Yes. So this pulverizer right here. Stick some wood in. Take my coal, put it in there. Pull out all of this. I can get sawdust. I'm going to turn all of that into sawdust. No, not really. Um, let's put coal back in here and in here. One more. Done. There, I got 64 saw, and now these can repulverize. All right, I got 64 sawdust, and I think I can craft it like that. Yes, six paper. <laughs> awesome. Thinking outside the box is wonderful. Sand paper. I was really worried about this. You don't even know. Rose quartz, check. Now, how do I make an electron tube? It just needs iron sheet, which is literally just this. Ta-da. Trying to do that. Iron sheet. You. Electron tube. You. You. Put the paper... Put the paper up, put the coal up, then it just launched out onto the floor. All right, so brass funnel, nether quartz, then 
there. Um, so this puts nether quartz in here. All right, I'll just put this soul sand back up. And then I would have... On this side... Will that work? Is this going to work? I don't know if you can have the funnels like that. Uh, another one with another funnel. This can be an andesite funnel. No, I'd have to go back one. Yeah, but will that still put it in there? See, that's my problem. I need two funnels going it. I can item pipe into it. I'll item pipe into it this time. Alright, so I'm going to get rid of these. I could have item piped into it, period. I'm probably going to do that, actually. Rid of that. Rid of that. I can do that from the front this way. Like an... Uh... Boop, like this. So I'll need a soul sand and a cobblestone. Soul sand and cobblestone. Oh yeah, go ahead and put this up. But yeah, I'm just going to set this up and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Very easy to set up. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to input one nether quartz and then the, the soul sand is going to wash to nether quartz. Nether quartz is going to go in there. Cobblestone's going to mix with another quartz to make andesite and going to output into a drawer. I believe I can make a drawer. Drawers should be pretty easy to make. Yeah, they're pretty easy to make. So I'll make a drawer for it. I already have a drawer over there now that I think about it. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I just need to figure out how to wire this up the best to give it power. It's going to be kind of annoying, but once it's done, it's ready. You know, uh, this I'm going to need a gearbox, a vertical gearbox for, and then I can go across with small cogs. Uh, if I have enough small cogs, I have four. That's enough to make a gearbox. I'm going to have to make some more small cogs, but that's okay. I should have enough. I should have plenty of the ability to do so. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Also hit that notification bell to be notified of more content. See you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a good one.